Tadaan! We have coffee mail. So this is from Sir Jonathan Mariano from La Trinidad Benguet. Um, they sent us coffee. Um, they thought they want me to try their coffee. They also said that these are um, kawa roasted. So they're trying to <laughs> lower my, my expectations. But as I said, we don't discriminate pan roasted beans from like machine roasted ones. So I said yes. And today we are opening their package. It actually smells good, huh? Aika Taman Kape. I'm not sure what that translates to, but I think that's in um, that's in Ilocano. Aika Taman Kape. Okay, so let's open the box. So this is Lola Teresa's coffee. It's a very nice packaging. It's a silver packaging that the light doesn't go through. Okay, variety is Red Bourbon and Tipica. This is Arabica, right? And it is from Atok Benguet. The elevation is 1,780 meters above sea level. Processing is natural and washed. I'm not sure which one is which. Um, yeah. uh, Sir Jonathan, thank you again for sending these coffees. Um, going back, the processing is natural and washed. Roasting technique is traditional roast. Right. And the roasting date is July 11, 2024. Right, so I'm not sure if these are different coffees. Oh, and they are actually sealed. Okay, that's a good thing. Mm. The beans are... They're not very uniform because again, they are roasted traditionally in a big pan, in a very large pan. Um, some sides are, some sides are like have, they have dark um, colors and while on the other side is very light. So it has uneven, um, uneven color. Yeah, most of the, let me just get a, here, a bean tray. Okay. Yeah, so if you can see, Yeah, some, some sides are very dark and some sides are uh, very light. Okay, we're gonna try them nevertheless. Wanna open the other bags to see if they are the same coffee. Cause there is no, there is no, oh there, so there is the writing. So we have here washed. This is semi. I don't know what semi is. If it's uh, semi natural or. S I don't know. Maybe, but, but the writing is kind of. Um, yeah, the writing is kind of. Erased. Okay. This one is natural. So I guess it is the same coffee, it's the same bean. They're all from Atok Benguet. Um, Arabica, which is Red Bourbon and Tipica. This is natural. It smells a lot better than the first one that we opened. Okay, and then this is washed. Oh, it smells a lot different than the natural also. And I think this has a darker roasting profile. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cup them for us to, for us to try 
and then I'll tell you what I think. But right now, my initial assessment is um, the color of how it was roasted. It is uneven. So we have very dark one side and then the other is a bit light. So we'll see how it tastes. And yeah. So we're gonna so we're gonna weigh our coffee. We need some. Okay. We need cupping bowls. Okay, so this one is washed. So we're gonna weigh 13 grams. We're gonna weigh another 13 grams for the natural. This is natural. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Right, so the recipe that I use um, for when I do cuppings like this is I tend to do like a coarse grind and then use a high temperature water which is around 94 to 95. So in my Easypresso ZP6, we're gonna do um, seven. Yeah, let's do seven. Seven, number seven, setting number seven. They actually smell good. Yeah, let's hope that the burnt side of the coffee doesn't um, affect the end brew that much. This is the natural process. This one actually smells good. And then we're gonna do the semi. So Jonathan, if you're watching, please let me know what you wrote under this um, bag. While we're waiting for the water, I want to tell you something about me being an advocate of the local coffee. If you're not aware, we have really nice, really good coffees, like local coffees. The only problem is, um, while we have good coffees, we run short on like processing of the coffee, like roasting of the coffee, and that is where some of the organizations in the coffee industry step in. We have like um, Escolta Coffee Company, um, Curve Coffee Collaborators, Henry and Sons, um, Ankan. These coffee roasters are just a few of many, many different organizations that are trying to level up our local coffee. Again, as I was saying, while we have very good coffee we run short on processing and we have to thank these coffee roasters for doing the best they can to level up our local coffee industry my water is ready so let's start let's start pouring it so we're just gonna fill it fill this cupping bowl up to the brim okay Right, like that, up to the edge of the cupping bowl. After putting in your water, you're gonna have to wait four minutes before breaking the crust, because there is a crust that's gonna form on top of the um, coffee. And then you scoop out any of the um, bubbles that is the carbon dioxide scoop out all the bubbles and then after 10 minutes at 10 minute mark we can finally taste the coffee I'm gonna put this right here for now right and then we're gonna wait for four minutes Okay, we are at three minutes now. Then I'm gonna prepare the cupping bowls for us to 
break the crust and try and smell it. I'm gonna put this on the side first. Okay, so we're gonna do the washed first. Okay, so we're gonna break the crust and we're gonna let all the coffee grounds sink to the bottom. I want to prepare this. Um, um, the cupping is the best way for you to taste your coffee. This is the best and easiest way to bring out the qualities of the coffee for you to be able to try it. Um, most coffee roasters do this. I want to try the potential of the coffee first before I start brewing them manually with a pour over. Yeah, this, that's, that's the reason why, why we do this, why we do the cupping um, method. I think this is ready, so I'm gonna start. If you are a bit sensitive to slurping, um, I'm, I want to warn you right now, th this is gonna be a lot of slurping from this point. So, so this is the washed coffee. Okay, I can definitely taste the burnt sides of the coffee. Okay, this is natural. The natural is a lot better. I'm getting more flavor, more acidity in the coffee, but you still get that burnt charcoal taste. It's a bit frustrating because flavor that I'm getting out of this coffee, the natural coffee, is good, but you, you get that um, burnt taste. This is the semi, I'm not sure. All of them have that very distinct um, burnt charcoal taste. I think the problem with the coffee is probably they were probably heated on one side at one point too long. Okay, as you can see here from this side, it's really dark. Like I think it's it's it it spent too much time on the fire too much for too long. And on the other side, yeah, this is very light. Yeah, and when you crack open the coffee, yeah, the coffee is very light inside. So it actually has a very nice color inside. But the problem is this one side right here that is like totally burnt. Yeah, I feel bad for saying this, but that's what I think. Yeah, I, I really feel bad for saying this, but it's just not there yet. I want to say this before, before moving on. I don't know how to roast. I don't have any idea how to roast coffee, but I think I know how to taste good coffee and I have a lot of experience in brewing them. Um, I will try again to brew this coffee, the natural, yes, the natural coffee, try and remove all the burnt um, coffee beans and then we'll see if it's going to be any good because I, 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 I'm getting some good acidity from this one and I think it has a really good potential. So. I think by trying to avoid that burnt coffee bean, it's going to be a lot better. I want to reach out to Sir Jonathan. I want to, um, if, you are, if you really want to improve your coffee, I am willing to work with you. Like you can just send me your coffee and then I'll tell you what I think. You don't even need to send me. This is too much. This is a lot. <laughs> if I can get the chance to go there in La Trinidad Benguet, I would, I would try my best to be there. I will get in touch with you, but yeah, yeah, Sir Jonathan, please get in touch with me. Um, for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!